Hey friends, Mike Adams here with Learn Audacity. In this video, let's talk about a few things you can expect and that I can expect in version 3.2 of Audacity. Hey, check out this information that Audacity put on the Audacity Team website back in July, on July 11th. This is entitled What to Expect in Audacity version 3.2. This is huge, and I wanted to share it with you in case you haven't seen it. I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but I will have a link to it in the description below. But basically, what to expect in version 3.2, this is significant. Version 3.2 is slated to come out probably in late September, according to this article. And there's going to be some significant changes in the user interface and in some of the real-time uh, virtual studio processes that are available. If we scroll down here just a little bit more past this screen here, it says here in this first paragraph, in older versions of Audacity, effects you apply changed your audio data. For example, if you apply a reverb effect, it will bake the effect into the audio. This system is great for anyone who wants to make a limited number of changes. However, if you want to alter an effect, you need to undo it and try again. In Audacity 3.2, you can now also apply real-time effects to your audio. Real-time effects can be tweaked whenever you like and do not alter the audio data itself. And again, I'm not going to bore you by reading this whole thing here, but under stackable effects, this is huge. This paragraph reads, our stackable effects feature goes hand in hand with the real-time effects feature by allowing you to reorder any effects you apply. For example, if you apply a reverb effect followed by a compression effect, you may dislike how the compression makes the reverb sound. To fix this, you can place the reverb at the top of the chain, which tells the audio to pass through the compressor first and the reverb second. Now that's significant to be able to stack effects and rearrange effects like that. And then under quick audio sharing, it says for those who want to share high quality audio quickly, you now have an option to export your audio directly to a new audio sharing service called audio.com, which we will be launching very soon. Or excuse me, which will be launching very soon. And then if we scroll down to the user interface, we're told here in these uh, bulleted items, the audio output bar and volume slider have been combined with no loss of functionality. The microphone output bar and the volume slider have also been combined. The device toolbar is now hidden by default. In its place is a new option called Audio Setup. You can see it right here, where you can quickly make changes to your input, mic, and output settings. These are some big changes that are going on, and Audacity is asking for your input and my input on these changes on this page. I'll have a link to this web page in the description of this video, as well as a link to the Audacity Discord server in case you want to join up there. It's a good way to stay informed. It's a good way to listen to the conversations that are going on, to hear what the Audacity team has to say about changes that are happening and when they're happening. And it's a good platform for you and I to be able to ask questions. I'm not associated in any official way with Audacity. I just enjoy the program. I have had the opportunity to create a couple of tutorial videos that are going to be in the new manual. I am excited about that, but I'm not associated with Audacity in any official way. So anything that I say about Audacity is just my own opinion. It doesn't uh, go any further than that. But I am excited for version 3.2. I'm glad that they released this information. Go take a look at it and tell me what you think. Until next time, take care.